Grade 3 Math, number 42. Regroup tens as hundreds. When you have bars of tens, you can count them very quickly. We have one, two, three, four, five, six bars of tens. See how many tens? There's six of them. And we can say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So six tens, or six times 10, is 60. So now let's take a look over here real quick. If you had 20 plus 30, what does that really mean? How many tens are here? Here's the ones place and here's the tens place. So we have two tens. In 30, we have no ones and three tens because that's the ones place and that's the tens place. So two tens plus three tens is the same thing as two plus three and then we add the zero at the end. So two tens plus three tens is five tens. Five tens is the same thing as 50. Okay, now let's look at this one. 40 is the same thing as how many tens? Here's the ones place, here's the tens place, four tens. 50 is the same thing as five tens, just like we did up here. Four tens plus five tens is, four plus five is nine, it's nine tens. Forty plus fifty is ninety. See that? Nine tens is ninety. Let's look here. Here's a ones place, here's a tens place. We have one ten. Now we have sixty. Here's the ones place, here's the tens place, we have six tens. One ten plus six tens, one plus six is seven, that gives us seven tens. Ten plus sixty is seventy. Now, what happens when we've got one hundreds, okay? Look at, we have twelve tens. How many tens? Twelve tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's the same thing as saying 12 times 10. It equals 120. 12 times 10, what you do is you say 0 times 2 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 2, we put it here, is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1. Then we add them, 0, 0 plus 2 is 0, and we drop the 1 down, so it's 120. Let's look and count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. So it is 120. 12 times 10 is 120. Now let's take a look at these. We have 14 tens. That's the same thing as saying 14 times 10. 14 times 10 is 140. We did 0 times 4 and 0 times 1, and then we did 1 times 4 and 1 times 1, and then we added them coming down, and it's 140. So 14 tenths is equal to 140. Now another way you could do this is to say the 14 and just add a 0 because you can also say uh, 14 times 100 is 14, zero, zero. You bring these down. See? You just add that zero to here, see, to the 14. And if I wanted to say 14 times 1,000, it would be 14 and three zeros. See? See? So really you could just add the zero when you see something times 10, but this is the way we would do it slowly. So 97 tens would be 970. 97 times 10. See? 97 times 10, 7 times 0, 9 times 0, and then 1 times 7 and 1 times 9, then we add them and we get, drop the 0, 7 plus 0 is 7, and we drop the 9, it's 970. 
Okay, let's look at this one. 78 tens. Now we could just add the zero and get 780, right? By just adding that zero there, remember? But if we do it this way, we say zero times eight is zero, zero times seven is zero, one times eight is eight. Now did you notice there's nothing here? Did you notice there's nothing there? You could really put a zero there if you wanted to, but that's an empty space. This is an empty space right here. You don't put anything here, okay? Um, so we add these and we get 780. Let's look at this one. 44 tens is the same thing as saying 44 times 10. 44 times 10, 0 times 4 is 0. 0 times 4 is 0. Now, because we multiplied the ones place, we're going to multiply the tens place, so we have to be in the tens place. That's why we're ignoring this spot. We already did the ones. Now that we're multiplying in the tens space here, we're going to put our answer starting in the tens space. So 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 4 is 4, and then we add them. That's 0, 0 and 4 is 4, and we drop the 4 down, and our answer is 440. Okay, can you do this one? 35 tens is like 35 times 10. Yeah, you could do it quickly and just add the 0 to the 35, but let's look at this. 35 times 10. 0 times 5 is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. Oh, pardon me, it's getting fuzzy here. And then we multiply the tens place, so we go into the tens column. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 3 is 3, and now we add them. 0 gets dropped down, 0 and 5 is 5, and we drop the 3 down, so our answer is 350. See? Let's try this one. 52 tens is the same thing as 52 times 10. 52 times 10. 0 times 2 is 0, 0 times 5 is 0, 1 times 2 we move over to the 10 spot because we're multiplying in the 10s. And then 1 times 5 is 5. We add them up and we get 520. Couple more. 21 tens is the same thing as 21 times 10. Okay? 21 times 10. Let's do the 1s. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. Now when we're multiplying in the 10 space, we move over to the 10s column. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And we add them. Drop the 0 down. 0 and 1 is 1. 2 gets dropped down. And our answer is 210. 210. Last one. Okay? 50 tens. 50 times 10. 50 times 10. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. Do you notice that these are always 0? Because we're multiplying by 0 in that spot. All these red zeros. Do you notice that? Okay. So now, because we're multiplying in the 10 space, we're going to move to the tens column. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. And now we're going to add them. 0 and 5. So 50 tens is equal to 500. So when you re regroup tens into hundreds, it's pretty much like you're adding, you know, smaller numbers. Like over here would be, you know, 4 plus 5 is 9. You just have to put the tens after it, which would be the same thing as putting a zero. You could do this with regrouping tens as, as thousands, or hundreds as thousands, or thousands as ten thousands. Just remember how many zeros you're supposed to have. And remember when you're multiplying like this, that this space gets empty because you are multiplying in the zero in the ones column here, so we did. And because you're multiplying in the tens column, you have to move your answer over to the tens column. But we'll get more into that as we get further into multiplication. It's just important that you understand that tens can become hundreds once you get past ten of them. Ten times ten is a hundred. 10 times 11, well, that would be 110 because we're going over the 100 mark. And you could go over 200 and 300, etc. So maybe you can horse around with this and count by tens. You can actually have some fun counting by tens because it's kind of like a song. I'll see you next time. 
I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you learned something. See you later.